Hi, this is Stephanie with Growing with the Woodpile, and this is the first of April garden tour. We're going to start over here, potting bench. All of, all except the lemon squash came up. Um, maybe I just didn't put seeds in that one because the other lemon squash did come up good. These are all going to be my backups. I did plant directly in. These are a few eggplants I need to give to cousin Vicky. Some what are these habaneros that I need to give away. And then these were some pineapple tomatillos that needed just a little bit more love before they went in the garden. So we'll get on those pretty soon. It is a nice cloudy day. It's been kind of hot this last week, this last week of March. It got up in like the 90s and I'm like, whoa, it's not summertime. But this is the new strawberry bed I put in in about October. And then I, these are some bare root strawberries here that I put in. Oh, it's so hard to pull off the first flowers. And these strawberries I transplanted out of this strawberry planter. Uh, I took a class with the University of, of Arizona, um, U of A, don't like being called that anymore. They recommended taking them out of there, especially for our heat and it just, they fall down and they don't do so well. But this is the strawberry bed, it's doing well. I am going to leave these strawberries on just because I want a few strawberries right away and I'll probably go ahead and pull off the rest, that's so hard. I did transplant some dill in here, they did recommend to plant um, some herbs in with it so it confuses the bugs. It's one little marigold right here that's growing up. This bed over here is my hot pepper bed and it's doing okay. Um, the problem is is the peas right here are blocking the sun and I need to just call it quits on those but it's so hard to pull life plants down. But these are all hot peppers that I started from seed in the house. I am going through and pulling off the flowers on these for the next little while. There is, that's a cayenne pepper, ghost pepper, and um, that's a Tabasco, and a Santa Fe, and then those are all like Anaheim. They are grown in twos here. I watched the rusted garden, not the rusted gardener, and that's what he does. And I'm hoping to trellis one on either side of the cattle panel. Last week, probably about four or five days ago, I did put in on um, this side is some dragon beans. I thought, that's a lot of space. Some dragon beans can grow there. There's a few of the strawberries here that I pulled out from the planter. Um, one, two, three, and the one in the middle have kind of died. The peppers that aren't doing great are these little tiny um, habanero peppers back in there. Um, they were littler. Maybe I should have kept them in the house longer. Not quite sure what this big flower is. Probably a Cosmo or a Poppy. Not quite sure. Had extra tomato, so I snuck him in back there. Habaneros, right? Not habaneros. Jalapenos in this bed, along with um, some marigolds. I just couldn't resist from one of the big box stores. And I did notice back here, the straw is frustrating me. Um, its seeds are are coming getting like alfalfa or something. I have no idea what this little guy is. Um, I don't, I don't know what he is and I may just let him grow, but kind of looked like a cantaloupe seed when it was on it and I checked it out. I may, like I said, may just let him grow. This is the plumeria um, plant I got from cousin Vicky and it's got, oh, it's losing some leaves. Got a couple of leaves here. I got garden kitty coming to visit. She's hungry. She wants to be fed. And it's not lunchtime. Garden kitty. Sorry, I was distracted by the cats. These right here are Mama Mia peppers. I think there's a yellow and a red. And they're doing best. They get lots of sun. Coming down this, we got these straw flowers that was at the beginning of the video right here look how they're opening up they are so cool looking but on this side of the hot pepper bed i planted kentucky bush beans i think they're a bush variety they weren't the pole got some basil going on down here this tomato plant he was weak when he went in 
he does look okay. I probably need to support him up. He's not quite to the panel yet. Got some herbs going on over here. And these peas, look how this is the old growth. And then they, they put on these spurts and then flowers and now they're getting peas and making it hard on me. Look at all these up here. Making it hard on me wanting to tear them out. I needed to tear them out because this is where I need to put in my cucumbers. So my plan is, is just let these get old and harvest them for the, um, for, wait for it, <laughs> to, to save the seeds to plant into next year. But, oh, this is a weed in here. I think you're a weed. Where did you come from? And probably just put his little flowers, little weeds down in there. Got some carrots going on here those that half Denver half I think this green stock doing well got some green onion that has flowered and starting to set seed this lemon balm's not doing well here but you can see some of this new growth in here so maybe I should just trim him back basil that's been there for since October I'm just gonna harvest the little seeds in there mammoth basil it's not quite completely dried out but look how long he is all the way over to the green stock a lot of my lettuces this last week have started to bolt and go to seed um this this lemon basil has never done quite well it seems like the merlot lettuce is holding off the, the longest before going to seed you can see these down here they bolted he's starting to bolt oh look at a little flower flower going on there planted some yard long beans back here in hopes that these are coming out soon see these are are ready to maybe a little bit more to get them dry so we can harvest those not harvest save those second asia plant purple tomatillo back here and then this is one of my favorite tomato plants right here this is a napa chardonnay He's doing well. He got put in in October, made it through the winter, and now is setting a lot of fruit here in the early spring. This is a four o'clock down here. Looks like he might be starting to want to put some flowers on. Um, black cherry tomato, different kind of peas. I can't remember what those are. And doesn't look like this. What are you? This black crim's not doing so well right here. Not sure what his issue is. I did have a problem um, and had some weak seedlings that did come out. So that, that just because they got damaged with some gray mold. This is another mammoth dill. Green stock number two doing well. It has lots of cilantro that has bolted and um, still cooking with it. Actually made some homemade salsa last night. See, all of these have this hard stock in the middle now. They're starting to put this less. It's done bolted. It'd been hot. I do feel like next time I will plant more of the romaine. It seems to hold out the last to bolt. Some spinach in here. And she's doing the same. This loose leaf lettuce. This, this is beets. These are beets that are probably ready. Then you can see some new beets in here. This is a Aunt Molly's ground cherry. I thought they'd be like the tomatoes and do well, and they are not doing well. I didn't do enough research on them. Milkweed, doing great. I've harvested some pods, um, seeds to save. Two lettuces that bolted quite a while ago and I'm just letting them get their little seeds. They're not quite completely dried out. See, those are the seeds right there few more um, beets in here but then these are again the purple tomatillo on this side and then over in this bed is green tomatillos beets celery here I did see on YouTube someone did take these and kind of pull them up to blanch them marigolds I did grow from from seed in the house and brought out charred this was cured. He just keeps going. He's been here almost a year now. I do harvest. I have to sneak it into things. My kids 
and my husband will not eat charred street. They sneak it into like spaghetti sauces and stews and stuff. Uh, I think that's an African bride. Not quite sure. Uh, Carmen peppers here. Now we're starting into mostly sweet peppers. This, you can see he has new growth. When I reset this bed, I trimmed them back and pulled them out. This has a lot of new growth on the existing plant. Oh, it has a spiderweb. Who's like putting their hand in spiderwebs? These are new ones that I um, brought out. So just trying to get them to get some more roots before I let them grow. Pretty sure this is a Cosmo in here. Just starting to want to open. Uh, banana peppers, I believe this is banana peppers. And I, you can see the new growth on this. I thought that one was a goner. Now that one's having new growth. So I just had to be patient. This over here, can't quite tell, but I did by hand go in there and rip out a bunch of this parsley. Oh my, there is a ton of parsley. This is a pear tomato, yellow pear tomato. That's been in here since October, has lots Lots of fruit, and then there's a, I think this is a black cherry. I'm not quite sure. The tomato plants in here are hit and miss on how well they're doing. He was an overwinter, and he needs to be tore out. This cherry plant, cherry, he'd been in there. Now, this is new. This, um, this is the sun gold. These were ones that were damaged and had this really weak stem from the mold I got in the house on their, their dirt. But I went ahead and planted him. He's another one here. This branch is doing quite well. So they're doing okay. This is fennel. Um, he's starting to do its thing. Ooh, he smells good. Lots of parsley on this. Um, got two tomatoes back in here. He's not doing as well as that one. Then marigold. This is another tomato. Sun Sugar Sweetie, he's not doing super great. I don't know, probably learned my lesson not to plant weak plants, um, but we'll see. They haven't got any bugs on them yet. Over here, these must be, I'm pretty sure these must be Zinnia volunteers. This is a trick or treat. It's a jalapeno without the spice. He is so compact. It's just weird. So come back. I'll probably go ahead and let those zinnia stay. The um, this is supposed to be one of the sweetest peppers, the lesia squash, lemon squash planted in here. I did go through this morning, and this white calendula. I did collect some seeds on those, and then just deadhead them. I really like this white calendula. Did finally tear out the two broccoli plants so these guys can get a little more sun what are you you are a yellow pear seems like the yellow pear is a little more hardy cilantro going to seed white tomasillo mm. you are hiding a straw and san marzano when i came through and mulched the straw it kind of like covered the tags a little bit in here this is the potato bed i think it's not getting enough water and I had extra weak tomato plants. So I put them here along the back of the tomato bed. And as you see, they are not doing well. So I don't know if the potatoes are sucking all the water. I'm gonna go ahead and just tear them out because I really rather have the potatoes. And I did read somewhere that it's not good to plant tomatoes in with potatoes. And I was like, I'm just gonna try it anyway. Well, maybe that's why, because all those are dying. Over here, big tree of cilantro. That's probably three feet high. I did harvest some yesterday when I made the salsa, um, but I'm just, I like the flowers, so I'm just gonna let it go to seed and then I'll collect the, collect the seed. These, I think they were magnolia peas. I'm just gonna let them finish, collect the seeds. They didn't do super well over here. And I feel like it was because this eucalyptus tree right here, I got him trimmed at Christmas and now this gets a lot more sun. So I'm thinking the sun will allow him to, these beds grow better next year um got a bonnie's best growing right here this is endive that is bolted see here's the romaine again and it's the one that's held out on not not bolting 
So I think I will plant more romaine. I also learned not to plant, not to plant as much um, lettuce next year. My family just doesn't eat a lot of lettuce. Some purple basil here. These were the orange sweet treat snacking peppers. Now this was the original one and he did not bounce back. I saved seeds. I researched, I had the plant tag still and it did not say he was a hybrid. So hoping to have more of those. Pretty sure that's a Cosmo. Coming down tomato alley that's now been here a year. Um, he's doing well. We did have an attack of flat footed leaf bugs that have been getting on and hopefully I've now plucked them mostly off but you can see these little damage to the fruit and I read about them and they said that only discolors pokes the fruit it, that, that it doesn't put disease into them so this is the little um, cherry this is a black cherry in here this nice set of fruit there I thought a bug got on me yeah. I don't like them they're scary looking uh, I need you to stay in your home uh, got some good looking tomatoes going down here though. I mean, these bottom leaves aren't. This is Aroma. Uh, what were you? What were you? I think you were another Aroma. Uh, that one right here that did have a weak stem, but that's okay. We'll see if he does. He's wrapping back around. So many spider webs. I don't like the spider webs. This black crim, I did not see that it had some flowers on it. And I have two little fruit going on back there. Over here is doing well. This is a little cherry tomato. Um, this is probably a, a sun gold, sun kiss, sun something um, that's doing well. But also the tomatoes, like this right here, the celebrity's doing well. This is a pear that has been here. So what are you? You're, you're looking good. You're, you're not a black creme. He's a black creme and I don't think he's getting enough sun. So we'll see how well he does or does not do green onion that is doing great now my chives i've had issues with getting chives to do better don't know why you would think they'd be more like a green onion in this corner i got one eggplant two eggplant oh and then down there three eggplant and now these peppers i'm hoping they're gonna bounce back they're still green I see maybe a little tiny, tiny bit of flowers down there, but these are my yellow. These are my bigger bell peppers. And I think I only got one from, I gave most of them away because I was like, oh, I had all of these. Everything else was bouncing back and I should have kept a couple. That was a learning curve, not to give everything away. It's how you know what's going to live. Big calendula plant going on here. This is um, probably a straw flower. My Kerbachi pepper died, which is fine because it was too much work. He was long and skinny and I didn't really care for him. That's a sweet bell pepper. This is the bell pepper that made it through the winter. He has some nice big ones. I'm just letting, letting turn a little bit redder. And then I'll probably give him a good trimming because I don't see mm, there's some new growth right down in there yet. Canary pepper. And this thing looks like a little white um, zinnia. Some more marigold. That is a zinnia. This is the Anaheim pepper that I've decided I am going to let stay. It's going to tear him out because he's in the hot pepper bed. But he's not super spicy. So I did harvest him the other day. And this is the ones I made sauce out of. And it was the right amount of heat that I am a wuss, so it's a little bit of heat did good. But he has um put on some new flowers down here. He didn't get tore out, so I am gonna let him do his thing. And it looks like you got broken there, little guy. Over here is some more yellow peppers. He has a few little leaves. This one has more. And then this was the only new one that I kept. Him back there has some new leaves, so. Hopefully they grow up and big and give me some bell peppers. I'm hoping that this will be my pepper setup going forward and I won't tear them out. I'll just, you know, mend some soil on top and keep them going. That this will be my sweet pepper bed and down there will be my hot pepper bed. 
and Corgi Kitty wanting to get a lizard. <laughs> These, um, the sacks, most of them are zucchini. This red one is mm, blue Hubbard squash. That's what the zucchini bugs, the squash bugs like the most. So here's my decoy plant out here to hopefully keep all the bugs off of it. I didn't have a problem with squash bugs last year, but I did pull out my zucchini early. This is the new trellis we put in a couple of days ago. And it still needs to be attached. I needed my son Dylan to come out and help me finish doing that. But this is a scallop zucchini squash. This is a yellow squash. This is like a, kind of like a, oh, wait for it, honeydew. Kajari. I need to plant my baby watermelon, my um, sun sugar watermelon in there. Another like type honeydew. This is the daikon radish that has flowered and he's just cute. So I'm just letting him do his thing. And then the big carrots. I did poke in here. I did actually Google but like, how long do carrots take? I think he's been in here. These have been in here since uh, Christmas. And they did little guys. I don't know if you can see way down in there. You can't. But they're just little guys, so I'm just gonna keep letting them do the do their thing. I think I will go ahead and move all of these herbs. This the sun kind of stops right there, I noticed the other day. So I need to move him probably over there. But you can see the drip irrigation is one continuous loop. It goes from bucket to bucket. So I will need some help moving him. So I get both my sons and all of us carry a bucket at one time and, and move him out front. But I did, when I was making salsa and I made um, cilantro rice and I saw a video that they actually harvest these now. Let me see if I can just get this one, this one, one. And here. Where do I go? Here? I just broke it in half. I'm going to put it in my hand. And they're soft. And they just use like the little berries still in cooking. And oh yeah, it's like a dense cilantro smell. That you can still cook with them while they're soft. They actually gathered them all up, put them in olive oil, and put them in the refrigerator and just do like a tablespoon when they're cooking. This parsley is starting to flower. I had so much parsley I should just let him finish flowering. But this is the out back. Let's see if I can head out out front. Out front, not really a garden tour, just my front yard with flowers. Got another straw flower going on here. They're, they're just kind of cool. Calendula, calendula, volunteer sunflower. sunflower is either hiding or protecting and disturbs them down here. Daisy African Bride maybe? Another nasturtium plant here. Look at this pink random zinnia in here. He's kind of cool. Some milkweed. Then over here more flowers. A lot more zinnias. This light pink zinnia, he's pretty. And then got another volunteer sunflower, garden kitty that's stalking me. And then my rose for my sister has another bloom coming on. Then this huge straw flower right here, he's getting big. But that's the up front flower. Oh, oh then we got the new aloe vera planted. And not new out, they're new pots, they're not new out of But thank you for joining us for April Garden Tour, where it's okay if things bolt.